This is the Parkside cordless lawnmower that I picked up at my local Lidl's. It cost $100. It doesn't come with batteries though, so I had to get the batteries on Amazon, which was about $75. And I also got a $5 battery charger because I didn't have one. I've been using electric lawnmowers probably for the last 20 years. And the reason I do so is just they're a lot more reliable. You don't have to go to the gas station to get gas. You just turn them on and they work. No maintenance every year except for sharpening the blade, which I do with a grinder in the garage. And I just find them easier. This is the first one that is cordless, though. I've always had the long cord that I run around my yard. I don't have a very big yard, but for me, that wasn't a big hassle. And the convenience of electric definitely made it beneficial. So... I wanted to upgrade to cordless for a while when I saw this. It seemed to make sense. I decided to give it a try since it was such a low price. Normally the cordless ones were much more expensive. This is only $100. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what's inside the box. Okay, there you have it, it's fully assembled. Now let's go get the batteries. Okay, it requires two batteries. I got these off Amazon, I'll link down below in the description the ones that I got. There's a safety key, and the batteries should just slide right in there. Get the safety key. I've already charged them up. So, if everything's right here, I should you be able to start right up. Oh, I got it. So, TV goes in that way. So one of the disadvantages of electric lawnmowers is they have less torque than gas powered. And so the way they compensate is they decrease the cutting deck. This one is only 17 inches wide. My last one was 19 inches wide, which is still pretty small for a grass cutter. Normally they're like 21 inches in uh, cutting surface size. Uh, so this one being 17 inches is significantly smaller. That means you have to do more passes as you cut the grass. Now, if you have a really large yard, this probably doesn't make sense. But for me, it's not a very big yard, and the convenience of having electric does make a lot of sense. Lifestyle choice. So there you have it, the Parkside battery electric lawnmower. I'm now untethered from the cable and have all the convenience that electric provides, which is very low maintenance and very dependable. Hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you very much for watching.